Hey, welcome to the Clone My Business channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Chat GPT to create your social media marketing agency like crazy fast. So first, if you haven't heard of Chat GPT, it's an AI tool. It's a super powerful language learning model developed by OpenAI. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that it's my belief that starting a digital marketing agency or social media marketing agency, whatever it is, is one of the most reliable ways to make a solid monthly recurring income. It's something that is crazy fast to start. It's online, of course, because it's on the internet. Uh, there's about a million benefits. I'm not gonna go into the benefits right now, but the reason why I can say this confidently is because I did it myself. I had I started my own agency all the way back in 2010. And by the way, it's still the same agency that I have today. One single agency, one single business has lasted me over a decade. Super happy about that. And it's still what puts food on the table today. That's why I have such a strong conviction about starting an agency. But you have a massive advantage over me because when I first started, I didn't have the help of chat GPT to help me out. I didn't have AI to help do the work for me. I had to do it all myself. So that said, I want to show you how you can get your agency off the ground like crazy fast using this software. And to be crystal clear, I even have an entire checklist, my own checklist based on my own experience of over a decade in the industry that you can literally print out. It's, it's printer friendly because if you're like me, you want to have like a literal like checklist that you can just be like, yep, did that, did that, did that until you have your agency off the ground and you're making money. <clears throat> and it includes all the stuff like that. So I'll put a link in the description for that so you can get that. And there's a video that walks you through exactly how it all works, the whole thing. Um, but I wanna show you, I'll take a portion of this and I'm gonna put it right into ChatGPT and we're gonna talk about how this can work for you. Let's say you've decided to start, you kind of have an idea of what you wanna do. You're gonna see in here that it says pick a niche. Um, if you can see down here, I'm just gonna enter whatever I want. Let's say we're just really tr brainstorming what we want to do. So I'm just going to literally type it in. What are some local businesses that need uh, digital marketing, right? Yeah. Actually, I, I could show you that I don't even have to spell it correctly and it'll pick it up. It's awesome. Okay. So I'm not touching this. I'm not speeding this up anyway. This is happening in real time right now. Okay. So some examples of local businesses that may benefit from digital marketing include restaurants and cafes, retail stores, service-based businesses, such as hair salons, personal trainers, et cetera, professional services, such as lawyers, accountants, et cetera, home services. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Maybe I don't like any of those. Let's say any other examples. Other hotel. Okay. Okay. It's giving me some more ideas. I love this. Okay. So, um, car rental travel. Okay. You can see what's happening right here on the screen. Other examples of local businesses that may benefit from digital marketing include, and look, it's just going on and on yoga and Pilates studio that jumps out at me, self storage facilities, insurance agents and brokers, dentists and orthodontists, of course, ice cream and dessert shops. I've never thought of that one before. Bookstores, sports clubs, and teams. Let's say we pick yoga and Pilates studios. Okay. So what are some, let's see here. Let's think about services, right? What are some digital marketing services you could offer a yoga studio? Okay. Here are a few examples of digital marketing services that could be, be beneficial for a yoga studio. Social media marketing. This would involve creating and managing the studio's social media accounts, such as blah, 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 blah. Email marketing. This would involve creating and sending regular newsletters to the studio's email list to promote upcoming classes, workshops. SEO, of course, search engine optimization is a process of optimizing a website to rank and hire higher in the search engine results. This can be done by optimizing the websites content meta tags as well as building backlinks to the site this is fantastic see it's giving you not only what services you could offer it's telling you a, a definition like if you were brand new to this or you just randomly came across this video you went down some youtube rabbit hole right and you came across my dorky video and you saw this and you had no idea what seo was well now you know and you know it's a service that you can offer yoga studios and by the way absolutely you would want to offer that uh local seo for sure um, 
it, it's still going. So Google ads, pay per click advertising, of course, Google my business, big, big deal. Also like a hundred percent must for a local Google uh, yoga studio. Uh, influencer marketing, content marketing, virtual classes, it's still going. I mean, if you're thinking about COVID with the right virtual classes, with the rise of virtual classes, many yoga studios now offer online classes to reach a larger, larger audience and gain more clients. You could help them set that up and even run that for them and or promote it for them. Lots of ideas that you could do there. I love what it says, even sums it up. These are just a few examples of digital marketing services that could be beneficial for a yoga studio. The specific services that would be the most beneficial would depend on the studio's goal and target audience. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's come up with a name, but let's just let our chat GPT AI friend come up with a business name for that. So we can just simply say something like list 10 business name ideas for a um, SMMA that that cater, let's say caters to yoga studios. Oh, here, let me just misspell it for you. Just so you can see, it's going to still understand what I'm saying. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I put in list 10 business name I ideas for smma that caters to yoga studio i misspelled that but it's still understood so and and it's coming up with business names right here so I, I asked for 10 it's coming up with 10 so zen marketing solutions om digital i like that om digital agency yoga marketing pros asana advertising namaste marketing i like that let's go with okay Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't like any of those. Let's just get crazy. Can you get more creative? Something like that. I can really type whatever I want and it's going to go. And it goes, okay, sure. Here are 10 more creative business name ideas for SMMA, the Caters to Yoga Studios, Lotus Marketing, Zenith Marketing, Breathe Marketing, Yoga Growth Company, Ooh, Mindful Marketing Solutions, Inner Circle Marketing, Yoga Biz Boost, Flow Marketing Agency. Oh, I kind of like that one. Tranqui tranquility. Okay. Uh, look at what it even says at the bottom. No, these names may already be in use, so please check their availability before using them. And of course, I have that in my own checklist based on of actually doing this for over a decade. I talk all about that, all of the legal things that you need to do, all of everything. But let's say, for example, you know, what? I'm going to go back up and I really like uh, Namaste Marketing. OK, let's say um, now if we're talking about branding, like if we're in the specific part that is talking about name your brand and business, write out at least 10 names, pick one and run with it, decide your colors and feel so. Okay, let's say what would be some good colors, good colors to use for a company uh, called, what did I say? Uh, Namaste. Yeah. Namaste marketing. Colors that would be good to use for a company called Namaste would depend on the company's brand identity and target audience. However, there are a few color options that would work well with the name Namaste. Okay, blue. Blue is often associated with calmness, trust, and reliability, which could be fitting for a yoga-focused marketing company. Green. Green is often associated with nature, growth, blah, blah, blah. You get the point? I'm not going to read all of this because you can see, but it's telling me blue, green, purple, orange. So it's giving me a number of different colors, ultimately, uh, with with uh, some keywords that go along with that, which keywords we can even use in our overall branding, right? Ultimately, the choice of colors would be based on the company's overall aesthetic and target audience. It's also important to remember the color psychology is not an exact science. The meaning of the colors may vary depending on context and culture. Great. That's fine. Part of branding, of course, as it says in my handy dandy little checklist, it says that we need to come up with a logo, right? Based on the above, what, uh, let's say here, what would be good logo ideas? Okay, here we go. Here are a few potential uh, logo ideas for a company called Namaste Marketing based on the colors mentioned earlier. A blue lotus flower with the company name Namaste Marketing written in simple, elegant font. A green tree with the company name written in a modern minimalist font a, on a purple ohm symbol with the company name namaste marketing written in a sleek professional font and it goes on and on and it says it's worth noting that a good logo should be simple memorable timeless versatile and appropriate it is also important to make sure that the logo is easily recognizable and scalable whether it's on a business card or a billboard not only does it do what i asked it to based on the above what would be some good logo ideas it gave me logo ideas 
but then it also tells me some extra happy little hints. Fantastic. I hope that you're beginning to see the power of ChatGPT. And man, oh man, do I wish that this was around when I got started. So let me know what you think about this. I made a video just for you. So be sure to check it out at clonemydigitalbusiness.com. And honestly, just let me know if you have any questions. I'm a real guy that really answers my emails and to comments. I'll really respond to you. If you have any questions about how to get this started, just let me know. I will see you in the next video.